continued detention and incarceration of Namde Khan. Crisis on New Naira Note, APC governors are bandit, doing everything possible to frustrate Nigerians. Hello viewers, welcome to my noble channel. Here we will tell you the truth the way it is. And that truth is what we have brought to your doorstep as we speak. You can see what is happening in Nigeria today. All the whole prophecies made by Mazen Nam the Kaluk has come to pass. He told you about the Naira note and it had just come to pass. So those of you who believe that you are him a mate, I believe you have just seen it. This is your president. The down one was and the upper one is the president you can see today in Asso Rock. They call him Buhari. And when he was told to bring his certificate, he could not provide his certificate. He provided the certificate that was not bearing his name. Even after that, he became a president again in 2019. Because some people from Flanestration, both the governors of APC, want to continue to keep this country down. A country created by British government, a contraction that people were trying to manage. But the APC government came in and destroyed it all. You can see the picture there. It's not something hidden. You can see the stem on his finger. Let's assume that was a move by British government while he was at, in the hospital in Britain. What about his palm? The lines on his palm. Why is it not the same? This is life. We are not exaggerated. But that is not why I'm here. Why I'm here is to tell him that now that he has started doing good things by trying to clear off corruption that he was brought into office with by this same APC governor who is attacking him today, threatening him because he planned to create, because he created a new Naira note. For me, this is the first time he's doing the right thing, even though he also fell on arrival. What we are telling him, it will please kindly listen to the panel for us. Unless, of course, Buhari have amnesia. Buhari promised everybody, both in social media. Sometimes I wonder all these newscasters, what are their jobs? People like uh, Chinese TV. NTA, Borat Nibu Television, whatever he calls himself. What are their works? Punch. All of them, so for that, so on. What are their work? They were listening to Buhari when he promised that he would listen to the Kano if caught the charging. But all of a sudden, none of them has been bold enough to ask him, Mr. Bubu, why haven't you released the gentleman that you claim you will list if caught the charging? They continue to keep quiet. The so-called APC governors who are now attacking him because he refused to allow the old Naira to flow so that they can be able to have the opportunity to buy votes as usual. The way they brought him into office, corruption is full on this year leaders you are seeing today. So much corruption. But the only man who is exemption, the only man who is a respectable leader, Nam the Kano, may God bless him. The only leader these people has continued to keep him in DSS custody for doing nothing because he was asking for the freedom of his people. Because he believes so much in freedom that every human being in life should not suffer. Every human being should have the right 
to decide what he wants. And this is why I've got to tell those who are willing to listen that I can never listen to any fool who are going around championing the killing of our people. Who has not offered anything in this struggle? Mazen Nandekalo is tested and trusted. He has sacrificed a lot in this struggle. He is so close to get Biafra before he was kidnapped. British government were aware of that. And for this, they want to use the opportunity to plan plan B to destroy Ibo land. And some of you are playing into their hand. Time will come. All the whole brokers are made in this channel. All of you will start to listen to it one after the other. And you will regret what you have done. I don't change. I remain the same person. Check my track record from the day I started this channel and from the day Nandi Kalu was kidnapped. Everything I have continued to say is the way it is. Because I'm not a regular freedom fighter. I'm one in a kind. I've told you several times, revolution I was part of those who staged a revolution that took, that taught the Fulani's lesson several years ago. There is no need of wasting my time discussing this. That was before I left Nigeria. Let me tell you something, boo boo. Now that you have started doing the right thing, trying to clear off corruption that you were brought in with, can you please release them they can? Personally, I know you're not boo boo. Everything is open. We have said this from the beginning. And this is why they're attacking you now because you are trying to eradicate the so called corruption that they brought you in with. And this, they don't see it as a goal. That is why they are attacking you here and there. But use this opportunity to release a man that you have allowed them to convince you, including that white youth. Who has been convincing you to detain this gentleman who has done you nothing? Just because he won the freedom of his people. What is bad about it? After all, it is enshrined in United Nations chapter. That the United Nations is not doing everything possible to make sure his release is what baffles me. They only came out and they give press conference, asked the Nigerian government to release him. And to date, they have not put any force. They allowed the British government to continue to determine what happened in people's rights. What a one. We must preach the truth here. And time has come for our people to listen. Anybody going around bullying you, threatening to kill you, don't listen to him. Do what you want to do. Is he alright? Time will come when we will find out who their families are and we are going to teach them that lesson that they are teaching you for doing nothing bad. Namde Kano has never frustrated anybody. While he was here with us, before he was kidnapped, he always liked to have an argument with his followers. To know if he's wrong or right. That is why he always tell you to call on Radio Biafra to discuss with him, to tell him what you think, and he will you and him will have an argument to see who is saying the truth and who is lying. He never order execution of anybody. Because he loves his people. This is why we are telling Buhari to release him for us. I don't know what Buhari is doing. But we are telling him to release him for us. Know that he's not the president of Buhari we used to know. You can check out his palm. You understand what we are talking about.
you understand what we are talking about but as far as he's the president of nigeria as we speak he have to forget about this amnesia and listen on the council because we know that those pushing him to do this is british government headed by that why you the apc governors and those two governors from apc this two governor has committed so much crime against the humanity and they must be dealt with in time to come listen now the canon for us we are not stopping your election we have said it from the beginning we don't believe in your gibberish of election neither are we going to stop your election if there's anybody telling that he will stop your election go after the person and let us be listen now the color for us he is a freedom fighter he believes in human rights he never told you one day why he was here he did not stop election so why you are keeping me is what i don't understand or you are applying your plan b so that you will make sure you push people they will murder innocent people of our land you will help them and they finish the remaining execution and tomorrow you will claim it is the group created by Nam the Kano. Release him for us. We know your game plan. Your plan B, British government. I am personally aware of it. Release Nam the Kano for us. For peace to reign. We are not threatening anybody. We are only promising and pleading with you to listen Nam the Kano for us. Enough is enough. But they have not come to the same Supreme Court that have refused to attend it to Nam the Kano's case brought to the table of this war or is it the so-called a picot who swallowed back their vomit after the the charge Nam the Kano some of them we are removed and some beers ones brought in whether the breast ones brought in or not as far as I'm concerned a picot is shameless including that spring court when it comes to corruption of governors and all these leaders voila they will come out to aid them but a freedom fighter who has not committed any crime they have continued to cause him problem while they go on and on to aid the so-called leaders to massacre innocent people in our land with the help of some men who does not know to and they believe they never written this is where i come to the end of this news but release nam the canoe for us we beg you so that he will take care of himself thank you May God bless you all. Cheers.